Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, I just want to be the first to say, hey there, hi there, and hello there. Come on in here, sit down, stand up, lay down, baby, whatever you feel that you need to do in order to catch the truth by way of this spiritual work and spiritual court. I encourage you to stay in that energy. I absolutely will support you in that energy. Nine times out of 10, though, Spirit guided you here for some particular reason. Whatever that reason is, I hope that you're coming in with your higher self so that you can discern what information belongs to you and what you need to lay down for somebody else to take. Simply do that. It will always be really easy if you allow yourself to just take what is for you and leave what's for somebody else. Nevertheless, if you're returning back to the channel, you are my beautiful, wonderful, amazing Soul Tribe family. I love you so very much. I thank you for all of your continued love and support. Listen, family, I know a lot of you have emailed me recently, and I'm going to be honest with you. I got so many emails that I need to take a look at. Just know that I know that you know that I know you know that a lot of this is resonating with you for very good reason. Okay, this is the season of retribution. These are going to be the upcoming seasons for liberation. These are going to be the seasons where we connect with Gaia. 2024 is the year of going back to the basics. What are the basics? The simplicity of taking care of the planet, the earth. It is affecting the vibration for we have dominion over it and everything in it. So if you're going somewhere, you should so happen to have a bottle of water and before you just toss it or throw it in the trash, pour it back into the earth. Find some grass, find a tree, take care of the planet. If you happen to go to the beach around the summer months, don't throw your trash in the water. <laughs> we have ancestors in the water. Some of them didn't make it on that ship. Listen. We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it a buck in 2024. This is the prediction. Holy Spirit, beautiful divine ancestors, only of the highest of white light, showing respect to Gaia and or the spirits that are in the earth, our ancestors. Show us what it is that we need to see for 2024. New Year's Eve energy, baby. We are lit. We are setting our affirmations, writing it down. A lot of you need to go ahead and get you a real piece of paper. Even if that means you have to find a brown paper bag, something that is made out of a natural element by way of paper. Get you a real number two pencil. If you don't have that, that's fine. Write down what it is that you want Gaia to do. A lot of us are praying for peace, harmony, that there be no more sickness, no more covid all this black magic and all this negative stuff is going to naturally be regurgitated and or dismantled and discarded by the earth. I'm going to say that again. All of that negativity, all that karmic energy, all of whatever somebody thought they was doing, abusing their power, doing death spells, whatever they thought they were doing, Gaia is waiting for you to come into nature, get grounded daily if you can go out and get you some sun a lot of us have been in hermit mode because of that whole covid situation and baby we were doing time inside that is fine a lot of you like hermit mode i'm one of them however if you can go out into nature at least once or twice a day enjoy watching the sun set in the east this is what spirit is saying listen Right now, you got people that are praying that are about to get dismantled, just like you're making your affirmations and your prayers and your wants for the upcoming year. They, too, are doing the same thing. However, there's a plot twist. <laughs> I won't be giving up all of the 2024 predictions. If you know that you know that you know. But listen, somebody needs to say I am returning back to my natural state of high vibrational spirituality and or energy by where the inner God in 2024 every day for the next 365 days this is the prayer so mode b that was a really long intro happy new year's eve whatever that is for you show me what it is i need to see i cannot make it up this is our gift the ace of pentacles 
Gaia is saying, talk to me. The waters are saying, talk to me. The sky is saying, talk to me. The birds are going to continue to give us messages about what is going on politically in other countries by way of wars and rumors of wars. And there's a lot that's going to get dismantled, y'all, by way of this celebrity energy. I predicted it. You know, again, I didn't see what was coming with a lot of these people, preachers, whatever, singers, rappers. I didn't see any of that on the news. That's a straight up download, upload. Why am I saying upload? Because Gaia is talking. The earth is coming up to speak and she has something to say. So a lot of this celebrity, whatever people thought was real, baby, you going to see the real deal. We're watching people have nervous breakdowns in the public eye, okay? By way of what they thought was real, this is happening all over the entire world. 2024 is going to be the year of balance. Which side of the coin that you're on, depending on how you've been using your power and or your energy, is absolutely going to determine a lot moving forward. I suggest that somebody go ahead and just invoke their own season of separation Whatever you got to leave behind, baby, leave it behind. So when you get that real piece of paper and that real pencil, you need to write Gaia a letter. What are you asking her to sever ties for you with? Who, what, when? If you got to write their names down, your name, the situation, the address, the date of separation, whatever you feel that you need to do. You need to write Gaia this letter. The letter could be one page, two pages, three pages, four pages long. Whatever that is, this is your opportunity to do this either tonight. Hopefully this video will be out before midnight or you can do it by the time the sun comes up in the morning or when the sun sets or at 12 noon. Why? Because these are vital times of the alignment where the sun is at the time that you ask Gaia I'm going to say that again, Gaia, the earth, for what it is that you're petitioning for, you have dominion over it. It's going to be very important that you do it in a certain timeline, okay? In alignment. Three of Swords, this is direct downloads from Swords. I'm going to tell y'all a little something. I sat with myself today, meditated, talked to Spirit. Put my feet in the earth, y'all, you know. Spend a lot of time inside because of what I do. But I expose myself to a lot of sun to harness that energy. So this is what you're hearing and or feeling by way of the fullness, okay? The ancestors are asking for retribution, liberation, and they want what is rightfully theirs. Three of pentacles. Pentacles always gives me earth energy collaboration working together for the greater good of humanity three of swords three of pentacles ace of pentacles okay so a lot of you are seeing three one one ten four 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 has been really really powerful for me today i've seen it a lot pay attention to the synchronicities listen these are the ways that your ancestors communicate with you this is the way that your spirit team is guiding you to do something whatever you feel that you're being guided to do be obedient in that do not be preoccupied. I'm going to say this again with people, places, and things that you're asking Gaia to remove out of your way. Be that a hex, a curse, or whatever somebody thought they were doing. 2024 is going to have a whole bunch of surprise, surprise. All them people doing black magic right now, trust me, they about to get a surprise. Because a lot of them are losing power and or dominion over what they thought they were able to do by way of nature, the workings of nature. Two of wands, distant energy, okay? Some of you are moving, leaving, preparing yourself just in case something happens, and that is good. You should have everything in order. The banking system's going to be affected. I'm gonna say that again. Something about the financial institution is going to be affected. Why? Because the entire planet is under divine judgment. This is not something that we can get away from. However, we can absolutely do our part by way of taking care of this planet. Queen of Pentacles, Earth, Mother Earth, Gaia is crying out for her offering. Okay, 
A lot of you are going to be guided to work with herbs, plants. A lot of you are about to take on a plant-based diet, not just because it's new year, new me, new boo. New, no, it's a lifestyle, right? So put more greens into your body, herbs into your body. Licorice root is really, really good for the liver, the kidney, and or the spleen, okay? Moringa powder. I prefer the powders because I can drink them and I have a very exquisite palate where I can I can take it. For those of you that are getting used to herbs, well, you know, be patient with yourself, okay? You're going to start to taste things and they won't taste the same. Even if you have the urge to eat those things, no. This is what spirit is saying, y'all. Listen, toil and labor, whatever you do for work, you need to make sure that it's something that you are passionate about. I always say, if you really do something that you're passionate about, you won't work a day in your life. What does that mean? A lot of you want to come to the platforms. A lot of you want to be out there in the trenches, feeding the homeless, taking care of the children. This is the time. This is what the meek inheriting the earth looks like. High vibration. Do you hear me? High vibration. There's going to be a lot of things in the atmosphere on the television that's going to try to distract you and bring down your vibration. If you know that going to Instagram is a whole bunch of drama, then maybe you want to unfollow some people that always got a lot going on. Protect your eye gates, protect your ear gates. The music that you listen to says a lot about you because you are what you hear. You are what you see. You are what you think. Listen, it's going to be a lot of spin the block energy, but you need to make sure that they ain't spinning your block. Spirit is saying it's a hell to the no for these offerings. Some of them are making offerings right now to deities, to the graveyard, whatever they're doing. Okay, that's fine. Let them because Gaia is about to make it clear. A lot of you need to get to the water. A lot of you need to put a message in a bottle. Okay, you need to write down those childhood traumas, all those shadows that could and should be or might be still lurking for whatever reason, you need to get rid of them. You cannot take them into this new year. This is the meek inheriting the earth type of an energy. And we are shifting on all realms, timelines, and or dimensions because we are receiving currently righteous judgment and justice for all. So that whole people want to take your power, blah, blah, blah. It's none of that moving forward. Do not give your attention to anything that remotely brings you down. No, not even one of these funky ass, little weird ass gang stalkers in the comments. The reason that they're there is because they've been defeated. So you're going to see them with the emoji laughing things and all of that because they going batshit crazy. They don't know when to cry and laugh. Baby, listen, ignore them. They are obsolete. They do not exist. The age of Aquarius is co-creating with Gaia. You're going to see a lot of Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy upcoming in this year and water energy. A lot of it. Balance, they're saying. Emotions, feelings, energy, thoughts, things, manifesting, physical world. What I'm thinking is real. What I think, what I see is real by way of my own reality. So how am I shifting my reality? That is the age of Aquarius. Come on, get the spiritual work. Listen, yeah, you got some people trying to spin the block. They already know that your divine person is coming in. So you're going to get a lot of wolves and sheep's clothing. You will know them. You can see them a mile away, baby. They won't be hiding. There's not going to be a shadow, a dark cloud, a tree, a wall, uh, whatever they feel they need to hide behind. That won't be available to them to do so. You are attracting your real soul mate, but love on self. Listen, do not obsess over this. Do not obsess over this soulmate energy, okay? Where's my lover? Is that my husband? Is that my wife? Don't obsess over that. Continue to love oneself. Continue to be in service. Continue to ask source of all things. Continue to take care of Gaia. Hey, what is it that you want me to do today? Who do you want me to bless? Sometimes you're just walking through the earth and you can see somebody that you just need to stop and talk to or, or you need to stop and pray for. Spirit is saying, follow your intuition. You are the high priestess. You are taking your rightful place. I promise you, the land of milk and honey is real. <laughs> Listen, it's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories out there. Be mindful. Don't get caught up running out, you know, 
looking crazy, letting these people play by way of frequencies with your higher self, that is not a wise thing to do. So don't allow that. The Ace of Cups is here. The helping hand of the creator is here. There is nothing that can come up against what it is that we are planning by way of 2024, not our beautiful January, our wonderful and amazing February, our incredible March, our lucrative April, our divine May, our loving, caring June, our amazing July, absolutely supernatural August, blessed and highly favored September, all knowing, all seeing, beautiful rebirth of October, soul tribe, family, energy, high vibrational, permanent high frequencies for all of eternity, November and or December of 2024. That is the projection. So as I have said this, I've written it down, write this down on a paper or whatever you feel that you need to do. Okay. You need to work with the earth. Maybe you want to take that and bury it in the earth. I don't know. Talk to Gaia, whatever you got to do, go have a conversation with her. Tell her what it is that we need. You say, Gaia, look at our earth. We need you to really get rid of all of all of what is going on. Protect our children. Look at our schools. These immunizations ain't good. Can you get rid of that? You're going to watch Gaia shift the laws in our favor. So, Modi B, listen. to a Pentacles, this is about balance, y'all. This is about balance, okay? We are the ones that they said were coming. Surprise, it's showtime. Every lifetime that you've gone through up until this point has prepared you for this very moment. We are celebrating a victory because the creator of all things is finally having the final say. Not that the creator can be minimized to never having a say at all. It's just now people are answering the call. Many are called, few are chosen because they don't answer, but we answer. So this is why the creator is saying, now I am speaking through my people. You will know them by their walks. You will know them by the fruits of their labor and their spirit it's gonna be a lot of devastation moving forward with people that want to spin a block and come back still planning the sneaky and deceptive energy they're not getting the memo they're going to continue to blaspheme the earth and or the highest god of all the gods listen that's okay that's not your problem don't put your energy there none of that it's a wrap Dufini. we are healing the earth the earth needs healing when you go to the beach don't throw your trash in the water i'm gonna say that again don't do that why? Because the plastic is not uh, recyclable and or biodegradable. It affects our fish. Don't do that. Don't throw trash on the ground. Don't do that. Don't disrespect Gaia like that when she's remained no matter what. She's asking for her offering, y'all. Okay. Give her her offering. Okay. So coming up, the prediction is there's going to be a lot of fire, y'all. You're going to see a lot of fiery fire 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 war angels taking their rightful place ready to destroy anything that gaia is saying has to go listen five of swords is war baby the whole war and rumors of war believe it temperance is sagittarius energy this is war mindset war spiritual war physical war your responsibility is to keep a high vibration as these things are naturally eliminated out of the atmosphere and the earth for all of eternity this is the meek inheriting the earth listen the hangman energy seeing things differently shout out to all my shebrew hebrew brothers and sisters shout out to all my muslim brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum Shalom to my Hebrew, Hebrew brothers and sisters. Shout out to all my Buddhist brothers and sisters. To anybody all over the planet, whatever group you're in, as long as you are vibrating with the frequency of love and you want everybody to be free and you love this planet, I love you. And I thank you for your presence. Show me what it is I need to see, please, and thank you. Alchemizing this energy, transmitting all of this darkness you're going to continue to see people do magic and it ain't going to work. They don't know it, but Gaia is not playing. She has something she wants to say. 
There's going to be earthquakes. There's going to be tornadoes. There's going to be rain at times that it should be sunny. Baby, your energy is calling for judgment, righteous judgment on all timelines, realms, and or dimensions in the spirit world and in the flesh by way of the physical realm, 3D, as above, so below, 2024, adds up to eight. It is the infinity symbol. And baby, it is going to happen. I had a beautiful, beautiful vision of it. I know that y'all are getting the same visions. Okay, so you got people that think they're going to still try to come in and get this equal give and take. They're coming, so be prepared. Don't be moved in your spirit, your mind, your body, nothing. What does that mean? Don't get angry. Don't get mad. Don't get sad. Don't get glad. Don't get nothing when these people try to spin the block with these towers on their back. Do your best to grow your food if you can. Do your best to do that if you can. Herbs, I just heard. Putting the earth back into your body. Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve. The Eve before the New Year. Or so they told us. It's a timeline shift though. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, you're going to... Listen, they're coming in, so get ready. This is also the year to heal any parental issues with any parents alive, karmic, dead, about to die, still alive, whatever this is, any karmic shadows by way of Gaia is going to be resolved. Even if you don't see these people ever again, the earth is required for you to offer forgiveness to your parents. Hmm. Karmic or not, this is not requiring you to overthink the circumstance by way of putting you back into that shadow. Don't backpedal. It doesn't mean that you will have to resume by way of the physical world a relationship with them, but energetically you are being required to release them by way of Gaia. Write a letter, send her a letter. Where are you going to put it? Put it in the earth. Write her a letter, give her an offering. Wrap that letter around some sage, a sage stick, cinnamon sticks. This is what she's saying. Two of cups. There's going to be people that will unfollow me. I'm very glad about that. Thank you. I release you with peace, love, and light. Huh? Two of cups. Listen, they're coming back in, so get ready. Okay? Your forgiveness is for Gaia. Your forgiveness is for you. You and Gaia will have a very beautiful relationship this upcoming year. Somebody needs to comment that. Gaia and I are in a beautiful and wonderful relationship about what it is that needs to be transmuted, what it is that needs to go. So before I become uh, that of a victim to past circumstances, I will always search myself first. I will always offer myself kindness, peace, love, and to search myself looking for anything that could be still lurking beneath the surface. So then I am in alignment with this righteous spiritual judgment by way of karmic law. Listen, they're going to be disappointed in that forgiveness. Pray for healing, but release it. You are not required to pick these people up. Do not go back. Do not open the door, throw the keys away. Whatever you got to do, you got new keys, new doors. Ace of Pentacles is a new door. There's going to be death, y'all. There's going to be family members, obviously, with any year. You know, people pass away. We didn't come to stay, and some people forget that. But there's going to be a lot more deaths than what is normal by way of certain families. These are the people that could have been doing black magic on you. A lot of this energy by way of Gaia, this is how she will see fit to get rid of certain people. Okay? Okay. A lot of these people will continue to be in silent competition with you, but it is an illusion because you've since removed yourself and or your energy. <laughs> Show me what else I need to see, please. And thank you. The Empress here. Okay. So these divine unions are coming in. 
continue to focus on yourself. The emperor gives me somebody that is stable, a caretaker of self first and foremost, divine in nature, connected to nature, grounded. I cannot say be in nature enough. Pay attention to the elements. Pay attention to the way the wind blows. Pay attention to the birds. Pay attention to the animals. They usually have a sense, okay, of something that is to come. They will always be a messenger. Whenever somebody is trying to tap into my energy, my cat, she lets me know. She'll be like, ah, ah, and I'm like, okay, you're not hungry. You don't got to pee. You don't want to go out. You know, what is this? She's letting me know. But in all reality, it don't even matter if they try to, whatever they try to do, it doesn't even matter. The tower is here. These people have been defeated. Because the darkness that they are bringing is unnatural by way of the earth. This is why nature is so vital. Move forward with courage. Better diet. Taste buds are changing anyway. If you're really going through a true, true ascension, taste buds are changing. Y'all know what I did yesterday? Let me just tell you real quick. Let me admit this, okay, outside of myself. I've been eating real clean, okay? Taking my herbs. And the other day, I had a little Butterfinger candy. And I was like, oh, let me... Nah. Didn't even want it. Let me tell you how funny the flesh is. Didn't even want it. Didn't have a taste for it. My taste buds have changed. There's just certain things I don't want to eat anymore. I can taste the chemicals in it. Like, I can taste... Whatever somebody's putting in the food, I can taste it. I'm like, mm-mm. Do y'all know I ate this one little piece of candy? One little piece of candy that somebody offered me. Do you know I was sick all night? And it was crazy because it didn't even taste the same to me. It was one of those little individually wrapped little, little those small squares, not even the big ones, but the small Butterfinger. It didn't even taste the same to me. You know what it tastes like? Chemicals. That's how clean my palate is. I said, oh, why did I eat that? So I put my foot on my own neck. I'm like, don't do that again. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I had to check myself real quick. And I did. I said, I can't eat this no more. I could taste the chemicals in it. It had my stomach upset. I felt like I wanted to throw up from one little piece of candy. Listen, the ascension is real. The earth is required for you to go back to nature to get more clean. For those of you that want a plant-based diet, okay, whatever you feel that your body is calling you to do, absolutely. Because I'm going to be honest. To think that you can run to these hospitals and allow a practitioner who's practicing on you, but you don't want to practice on yourself. You better practice. Oh, I don't like spirulina. It tastes so nasty. Well, look, it's either that or a whole bunch of bottles of things that got all these weird ass warnings on them. May cause headaches, suicidal thoughts, uh, stomach ache, heart ache. You're like, wait a minute. I came here because my foot was hurting. <laughs> Listen. Why is this important? Because the physical body needs to be built up by way of Gaia. You are the earth. You are mother earth. You are father time. You are father earth. There's a masculine yang, yin to the energy of Gaia. Yeah. Judgments here, by the way. This is what spirit is saying. Come get this spiritual work. You will see that it's going to dispel a lot of black magic that was done to you. So if you were feeling some of them weird ass energies and stabbing pains and all of that, a lot of that stuff needed you to be in a low vibration. Why? Because when you're in a low vibration, you'll eat weird stuff that you don't want to eat. Just like when I had that little Butterfinger, I came across somebody that I didn't even realize I was still like <laughs> bothered by. And impulsively, my body was on auto repeat, like, oh, let's just eat this candy. I didn't even want it. I said, okay, well, let me check myself. 
So I checked myself. I said, nope, never again. For the rest of my life, I don't need it. Not that kind of candy. No, ma'am. No, sir. Listen. A lot of that black magic, voodoo, dark energy, abuse of power, whatever somebody was doing with a voodoo doll, your hair, all of that is going to be dispelled. You will be too connected to nature because you're putting natural things into your body. Apple cider vinegar for some of you that can tolerate that. Now, everybody has their own remedies and or concoctions of what works for them. So mote it be. You know your body. That's your body. So you tell it what to do. Like for me, I got to make sure that my iron levels are at a certain level because of my blood level. Some people have low blood levels. I've never had high blood pressure. But if we really want to get deep on a metaphysical level, high blood pressure stems from anger. Okay. There's always an emotional reason for that which is ailing you by way of what appears to be a dis-ease. I tell you what I know. I saw a woman with stage four cancer who was sent home to die by way of hospice and her husband decided to do acupuncture on her and he was fresh out of acupuncture school. He's an Asian doctor. God bless him wherever he is. I sat with him. He saved his wife's life by way of acupressure and acupuncture. But what was the emotional aspect? Resentment. The body starts to eat away at itself. This is why forgiveness is vital. Listen, four of swords, sickness, all of that that people wish and wait and want and want to send. And yeah, it's a wrap. Don't give them any attention. Moving forward. All things positive. I dare you. Obsessively, compulsively, deliberately. This is what it is. You got a lot of slow moving energies, okay? Let this energy be you. Slow and steady wins the race. There is no need to be anxious. But in all things, have an understanding of why you're doing what you're doing, when you're doing it. And always give reverence and or respect to the sky, the waters of the earth, the oceans, the animals, and or Gaia by way of nature. And the trees, we need the trees for oxygen and always give thanks to the creator of all things for the sun. The sun represents life. It represents, hey, we still got a chance. <laughs> Temperance, earth angel energy. So it's going to be a lot of fire, a lot of fire this year, a lot of fire. Anything else we need to see here? We need to see King of Swords energy. Okay. There are going to be people that are talking, gawking, trying to distract you, gossip, mocking, uh, monstrosities, weird ass rap songs coming out. These people are puppets and they're being used by the enemy. If you should so happen to at this level of your awakening, take your attention off of that in 2024 with these beautiful next 12 months in alignment and working in our favor by way of the cosmos. That is your own choice. You will have consciously done whatever you feel that you need to do. Be mindful of what you take in. King of Swords is gossip, slander. They're going to be talking. They're going to be mocking. They're going to be this. Why? Because they're in this four of cups energy. They're in this death energy. Okay. They're in the tower energy. So they are just miserable people. Separate yourself. It says, do not fraternize with the scornful. Okay. They are vexatious to the spirit. So this means consciously, again, don't put your mind on it. Oh, I wonder what's happening with such and such. Oh, I wonder what, don't, don't do it. You want to know what's happening with such and such? This is you. Empress energy, loving, caring, kind, releasing them with forgiveness. I need to really stress forgiveness. How do you forgive? Just like that. Just take a deep breath and let it go. Let that shit go. Bury it. Write a letter. Burn it. A lot of letter writing this year. Write it out. Burn it. Use the fire. Use the earth. If you want Gaia to do something, say, Gaia, listen, put your feet in the earth and talk to her and let her move all of those weird ass energies away from you. Listen, you want to know what's going on with them? This is what's going on. For all of 2024, this is what's going to happen to those people that were coming up against you, waging war. Yes, I know. Family members, ex-friends, frenemies, whatever. Yes, this is this is their state of being. This is their karma. 
Do not go near them. Do not stand next to them. This energy is contagious. Whatever is attacking them is because this is what Gaia feels is fair by way of Mayat energy and balancing things out. Let the angels take charge over this energy as you go about and be disciplined. There's going to be some beautiful moon cycles in those moon cycles. Continue to purge when need be. Okay. Some of the news that you get won't be good news about other people. You could feel a certain way. That's okay. You're human. Thank God that you can still feel even for people that didn't want you to be um, alive. <laughs> Queen of Cups energy, Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer is giving me the mother energy, y'all. When I think of Queen of Pentacles, I think of Mother Earth. When I think of Queen of Cups, I think of uh, Yemaya. I think of the ancestors. I think of I think of the spirits in the water. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I think about. I think about the oceans. I think about water. I think about life. I think about Aquarian energy. Okay. By way of that energy. Show me what else I need to see. Please and thank you. Yeah. Healing. I cannot make it up. Thank you. Sailing to calmer waters. Thank you. Mama Wata. The earth, the earth is really supporting us in everything that we do. Six of Swords is sailing to calmer waters. Why? Because water represents healing. Age of Aquarius healers the earth is calling for healing the earth is calling for healers the earth is calling for us to stay in a high vibration so that we can receive those gifts by way of the universe and we will naturally transmute any diseases that are in the atmosphere it's gonna be an interesting year oh my god please and thank you it's gonna be interesting it's going to be interesting. The devil is here, not there, not over there, but you know, this is desires. What I mean by here, this is desires. This energy has to go. Your senses are going to get a whole lot heightened, so pay attention. You could be smelling things in the atmosphere. They're telling you something about what's going on spiritually. If you start to smell alcohol, like the other day, I jumped into my dad's truck and I swear it smells so much like rum. Like somebody was sitting right next to me drinking rum. I'm like, why do I smell alcohol? Like it was in my face. Those are the ancestors. Sometimes they could be asking for offerings. Sometimes they're saying thank you for the offerings that you're giving. Um, sometimes they're just around you and they're just reminding you of the things that they used to like by way of desires. This is what this is telling me. Capricorn energy. Yeah, when they were in the physical body. Okay. Sometimes you could smell smoke. There's times that I smell cologne. Okay. Somebody could be burning a candle in somebody's name right now. Ignore it. Listen, let them. <laughs> what I seen coming for 2024, boo. Listen. Okay. That's what they want to do. It's how they want to bring in a new year with a tower. Let them. Your, your work there is done, period. Obviously, in spiritual court, I will continue to expose those things that we need to, but you're going to see a huge shift in energy by way of what it is that I am channeling for you because of what Gaia and or the creator of all things is telling me that is now required for me to do by way of my gift. Keep yourself in that high vibration. The higher fonts, the healers, the teachers, Tarot card readers. You're going to see a lot of people disappear. You're going to see a lot of people spaz out in the public eye. You're going to see them go through the dark night of the soul in the public eye. These fake friendships are lurking. Be careful. Okay? Be mindful. Be very mindful. Okay? Careful of anybody that wants to keep you in the shadows. I'm going to say that again. Those are the people that come along that want you to keep talking about the past and what happened when mama died and what daddy died and things that they know are triggering, things that you have moved past. That's a red flag that nine times out of 10, that's somebody that you need to separate yourself from. I'm going to tell you something. I had a vision of somebody that was coming off seemingly like they were really trying to be helpful, but they were tapping into people's shadows in order to take their power. What does that mean? Because when you allow somebody into those times by way of reliving your past, 
you got to remember the mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. And so when you allow somebody to infiltrate your thoughts and your shadows and you're telling them, yeah, when I was five and oh yeah, when I was six and you know, you're opening up your Akashic records, not just in this lifetime, but your past lifetime. And so sometimes you have to be really mindful of why somebody wants you to be in that energy. What are they trying to get from you? It's your power. Careful with that pillow talk. Careful with what people think that they're trying to help you with when really they're just trying to expose your spiritual nakedness by way of your past. You can't do nothing with those things. Now, there was a time, y'all, where we were talking about those things and dealing with those things. Absolutely. But that time is over. There's been a shift. Right? That's like me still talking about something that happened when I was 10. If I've not extracted the meat out of that circumstance by way of the lesson and or the blessing from what I was supposed to learn, then it doesn't make any sense for me to be speaking about that at 25 years old, at 35 years old. What is the point? What is the purpose? Question everybody because there are a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing, okay? A lot of people want to be street psychologists. They want to be, you know, they, tr listen, they're tapping into your power, period. That shadow moment that you're having, if you need to get that out, write it down with you and spirit. Careful. Because somebody could be on the listening end of that, ready, taking notes and trying to figure out how to disrupt you and have you stay stuck in a cycle. That is a form of siphoning your energy that is vampiristic. Be careful. Some of them do not have the intention to help you heal. They want to keep you wounded. Okay. You will know when you know that you know. So be mindful. Right? I cannot make it up. They want to keep you sick. This is about healing. Four swords. Spirit is saying heal, heal. Prime example, I'm just going to give you an example because somebody's going to overthink it and that's okay. That's just the way the brain works sometimes. Prime example, I remember when I, um, I was in a new relationship and I was pregnant with my son who's now almost 10 and I had a family member. That's so funny. The 10 of cups came up, a family member. Here they are. I had a family member. Remind me of when I had lost a child 10 years prior and I saw the way she brought it up and she was looking for my reaction to see if I was still traumatized, if I was still hurt, uh, how did I feel about it. So be mindful. That is a prime example because people slither, they slide in. I had people come in right after I had my new baby. So how you doing? You okay? Okay. You know, but they don't really mean that. They just want to see <laughs> if you triggered. That's what I mean by careful who you uh, allow to ignite your shadows. Okay. You got to be real powerful to deal with your shadows. You see how I just got through that right there? That don't bother me no more. No, ma'am. No, sir. Yeah. These people are coming in and siphoning your power to weigh you down. Be mindful of that. Be mindful of those conversations. Ask yourself at every step of the way, what am I talking about and why? Who am I talking to and why? What am I expecting to get out of this and why? You have the right to question yourself about what you're doing at every single stage of your spiritual walk. Why? Because you're the one at the end of the day that has to walk that walk. When all is said and done, when the conversations are done and you're laying there in the middle of the night by yourself, if you're married or you're not, it doesn't matter. You have to deal with self. So what are you getting out of that? Question everybody. Question everything. Look at every single motive. Ask yourself, what am I getting out of this? Why am I talking about this? Why am I watching this? What am I doing? With, what, what, is, what is my life? Put some pressure on yourself. And a lot of us are just going to continue doing what it is that we've already been doing anyway. We're not on autoplay by way of, oh, it's a new year. Listen, when you're ascending, calendars and dates and months and all of that by way of determining time don't nobody get caught up in that i watched everybody run around and be on auto repeat 
because they're like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. So everybody ran out, spent their money. I'm like, look at everybody. It's like a program. Like, look, this is funny. Like robots. <laughs> oh, it's Easter. Ran around. They running out, running out. Like, oh, it's Christmas. Running. Out. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we were trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. It's a war going on. Babies dying. People ain't got no jobs. Where's the money coming from? This is how you know a lot of this stuff is an illusion. Wake up. Listen, the chariot. Willpower. Moving forward. Heavy on the Cancerian energy and the moon cycles coming up. Show me 2024. Please and thank you. Mother Gaia, thank you for keeping us grounded. Yeah. Season of separation, y'all. I just keep getting separate yourself. Separate yourself from whoever you feel. Some of us had to separate ourselves from karmic children. Do it. Three of swords. This is the season and or the year of separation by way of us coming together with what we need to come together with. The path has to be cleared and or it has to separate us from things that no longer serve our higher good. Like there was still like a little window of opportunity by way of healing some of these old relationships. That stuff is done, son. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. High Priestess, we here. We in the building. Walk that walk, talk that talk. Are you really walking that walk and talking that talk? Okay, be careful. Be concerned of your own affairs. Touch and agree with people that see like you, think like you, are like you. In the sense that they want the world to be better and the earth to be better. Somebody should comment that I am connecting with people that are reflecting this beautiful heart that I have by way of wanting to make the earth better and everything in it. And anything that needs to go is naturally being disposed of. The forces of nature, you will see. Oh my God, there was a tornado over here. Oh my God, something happened over here. Oh, they said in New York this happened. Oh, in Florida this happened. Oh, in Texas this happened. Oh... Now, remember, you got people trying to run out the country because they got bad karma. Baby, this is a global movement. <laughs> I don't know what they think they do it. Gaia's in Kenya. Gaia's in Belize. Gaia's in Hawaii. Gaia, Gaia. Gaia got something to say, honey. Because we're having conversations with her. Listen, the meek will inherit the earth. If that is the only thing that you say to her and request, she will know what to do after that. She's going to purge of all of this dark ass, whatever this is, energy. The crazy neighbors and the people up the street and around the block and the family members. Listen, nine of cups, the wishes are being fulfilled. This is what they're saying. This is what the spirit realm is saying. Listen, it's a victory. Happy 2024. I love y'all. Listen, this is the message, okay? Is there anything else here that we need to look at? Let's just see what the angels are having to say by way of energy. I'm not going to even shuffle the deck because I had already shuffled it. Eight, 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 eight. I'm going to take that because instinctually I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. This says personal power. Material and spiritual abundance, wealth, resources, forces, balance, confidence, material gain, spiritual gain, Epic romance. I keep telling y'all these beautiful unions are coming into play. But don't obsess over it. Just, you know, continue to love you. I'm just confirming what you already know. I'm speaking with you, not talking at you. All that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply. Ooh, let's just say that together. All that is good and pleasant in my life will multiply. The angels are sending the numbers to reassure us of all of the prosperity and good energy and good news that we have ahead. A beautiful well-being is surrounding you. Treat yourself with admiration and self-respect. Use it for the greater good of all of humanity. 8888. Eight, eight. And coincidentally, no, it's never coincidence. There's four eights, 2024, two, four, six, eights. Listen, I love y'all. Happy 2024. Congratulations. <laughs> you made it, right? You're making it. Even if you made it through the day. <laughs> you made it, okay? 
so shall it be. All of my information is in the description box below. As of right now, I am not taking new personal readings until I get these other ones finished out. If you're still waiting for your reading, then thank you for your patience. Um, if you cannot wait by way of when you feel that maybe it should have been done already, just go ahead and send me a kind reminder and I will refund your money. I love y'all. I love you. I look forward to having a beautiful, amazing, prosperous, loving, healthy, wonderful new year with you. 2024 is going to work in our favor. The mindset is stay focused on the goals. What are the goals? Taking care of the planet. Okay. Taking care of self and the planet. Every morning that you wake up, you're consistent. The time is going to go really fast before you know it. It's going to be like, oh my God, it's December. So be prepared. Be mindful of your time. That's what I heard spirits say. Don't squander your time. Okay. A lot of us are going to minimize being online, right? Going out more into nature. I look forward to seeing a lot more nature pictures than I do just people that are you know, doing nothing, but that'll be up to me. I have a choice to look at that stuff online or not. This is the message. I love y'all. I really do. Wherever you are on this beautiful planet, just know that um, peace is with you because you're in the planet and you're keeping things peaceful. <laughs> Happy New Year. I love you. Peace be with you.